Welcome to the College of Education Virtual Admitted Student Open House. We are very excited to welcome you to our TERP family. Throughout this pre presentation, we'll go over a lot of information. We encourage you to reach out to us via ed-advising at umd.edu if you have any questions. Our advising team will be co-hosting this presentation. With, with us today are myself, Jessica Chu, we have Christy DeLeon and Brittany Berry. Um, from Jessica Chu, I'm very excited to welcome you all to campus in the fall and to the College of Education family. I can't wait to see you um, on campus. Hello everyone, my name is Christy DeLeon. I'm an academic advisor in the University of Maryland's College of Education and I'm excited to get to share with you some more information today about the college. Um, for some background, I spent several years as a K-12 through teacher and I'm currently finishing up a graduate program in the University of Maryland College of Education. Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Berry. I'm also an advisor in the College of Education and an alumna of the university. I'm excited you've decided to join us today. As our mission states, we hope this presentation will enhance your knowledge of the programs that we offer and prepare you as you make your decision for enrollment in fall of 2020. The College of Education is home to three departments, CHESI, TLPL, and HDQM. Early Childhood, Early Childhood Special Education, and our special education programs fall under CHESI, which is Counseling, Higher Education, and Special Education. PLPL, which is the Department of Teaching, Learning, Policy, and Leadership, our elementary education, middle school math and science, and secondary education programs, while the Department of Human Development and Quantitative Methodology, HDQM, has Early Childhood education, early childhood special education, as well as human development. You may notice that early childhood education, early childhood special education is under two different departments. That is no mistake. Uh, they are there because the college went through a reorganization a few years ago and now the department wanted to give up that program, so they now share them. Our first undergraduate program that we're going to talk about today is human development. I'm very excited that the College of Education has launched this major. A uh, new major coming this fall 2020 in the College of Education's only non-teaching certification uh, program. Although the undergraduate major in human development is new this fall, human development has been a part of the College of Education with programs at the graduate level and a very popular undergraduate minor for quite some time. The human development majors will explore the biological, social, emotional, and cognitive processes of development from conception to the old age in diverse and cultural contexts. The curriculum includes a required internship in the senior year, faculty conducting research in the college where the human development majors are able to get involved, or students um, want to explore an external internship, that's also an opportunity for them through this program. Our advising team works closely with the director of the Human Development Program, Dr. Jenny Lee Kim. She is great um, to assist students with an understanding of the program requirements from the courses to the internships. And as this is a new major, the program sheet is still under development, so keep your eyes out. That should be posting to our website. And now we're gonna move into our teacher preparation programs. All of our UM, University of Maryland or UMD undergraduate teacher education programs prepare students to be Maryland State Certified Teachers. Our programs are accredited by the National Council for the Accreditation of Teacher Education, NCATE or CAPE, and are approved by the Maryland State Department of Education or MSDE um, in their Office of Certification and Accreditation. Teacher education programs at the University of Maryland incorporate MSDE certification requirements into the degree program. Therefore, when students complete their degree in a teacher education program, they are eligible for Maryland State certification. Um, all they would need to do is the paperwork process of applying for their official teaching certificate through MSDE. Um, we do have reciprocity with most other states, Department of Defense schools, and many U.S. territories. Um, although our office is here to help and guide students as they work towards their Maryland State teaching certification, if you are considering teaching outside the state of Maryland, um, we will try to assist you as best we can, but keep in mind that it is your responsibility and it's really essential that you look at your own state's Department of Education website 
and see what their ultimate requirements for teaching certification are gonna be if you intend to move back and teach in another state. We'd also love to have you stay in Maryland and teach with us too. So you. Next, we're gonna go ahead and talk through some of our specific degree programs that lead to teacher certification. The first one we're gonna begin with is our dual certification in early childhood, early childhood special education. This program leads to Maryland certification in early childhood education for grades pre through K, pre K through three, and a Maryland certification for special education from ages birth to age eight. The program requires University of Maryland general education requirements and major specific coursework, such as introduction to special education and hearing and speech sciences and creative arts. The professional portion of the program involves two years of coursework integrated with field placements in diverse general education and special education settings. The Early Childhood, Early Childhood Special Education program curriculum has been developed around six core themes, including child development, children in the context of families and communities, assessment, integrated content courses focused on the Maryland College and Career Readiness Standards, culturally responsive and differentiated pedagogy and inquiry and reflection. There are two track options. The first is track one, which focuses on birth through five years, which is that early intervention piece. Um, in the fall semester, students um, who are seniors will be placed in an inclusive public kindergarten classroom. And in the spring semester of the senior year, students will be placed in a special education setting that serves infants, toddlers, or preschoolers. Track two is gonna be a preschool through third grade focus. Um, and teacher candidates are placed with a general education mentor teacher and a special education mentor teacher in grades K, one, two, or three for both their fall and spring semesters of their senior year. Next, we're gonna talk about the elementary education program. This certifies students to teach in grades one through six. And the program requires University of Maryland general education requirements, those gen ends, you can't escape them, um, and also major specific coursework such as child growth and development, children's literature, and an early US history or history 200 course. The professional portion of this program involves two years of coursework integrated with field placement, so you're getting into those schools, in diverse elementary education settings. Students will also choose an area of emphasis in which they'll have at least 15 credit hours and develop additional expertise in a given content area, such as math, social studies, science, um, several options listed there. Some highlights of the program include five semesters where you'll have a field experience component, um, long-standing relationships and a network of professional development schools where you'll have your mentor teachers and you'll, your field placements in several counties, um, expectations for teaching performance built over the semesters, and a really solid support system based with your field placement mentors, your university supervisors, your PDS coordinators, and us here in the academic advising office. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the demand for teachers with special education certification will increase 8% over the next 10 years. As a result, there will be a demand for approximately 33,300 additional teaching positions nationally. Our special education program prepares candidates that are competitive in the job market through the following components, internship, mentorship, foundational knowledge through the coursework, tutoring experience to ease them into their internship. The special education program has two tracks students are able to select from. Track one leads to certification recommendation to work with severely and profoundly disabled students. It's a certification with special education elementary and middle grades one through eight. This track one is all about supporting students with severe disabilities who are sometimes enrolled in self-contained classrooms with only students with disabilities. Track two was designed out of continuous requests for a dual certification program. Track two leads to certification recommendation to work with general education elementary grades one through six and a certification in special education elementary and middle grades one through eight. Track two is designed for special education teachers or general education teachers who want to understand strategies to support children with and without disabilities. 
A nice feature for our special education program is if you decide to continue your education and obtain a master's degree in the in this content, 12 credits of undergraduate coursework will count toward the graduate degree at the University of Maryland College Park. If this is of interest to you, please make sure you let your academic advisor know um, so that we'll be able to plan for this in your academic pathway. Middle school math and science. The Middle School Math and Science program is a dual certification program for teaching students in grades four through nine. Students pursuing this major have a content focus in both math and science courses. The mathematics courses are particularly geared towards middle school teacher candidates and the content they will be teaching in the classrooms. In this program, students are not required to complete the high level math course such as calculus three or differential equations, for example. The math courses in the middle school math and science program include courses in mathematical problem solving, numbers and operations, algebra and geometry, and statistics and probability. The science component includes courses in physics, chemistry, biology, atmospheric and geological sciences. These courses are not upper level science courses that those majoring in the specific content courses would be taking. These science courses are generally going to be at the 100 or 200 level, most of which are also general education requirements. A couple of the courses are specific to education majors, for example, the physics requirement. The physics course for this program, Physics 115, is only for students declared as College of Education majors. All candidates also take education courses in philosophy and pedagogy, equity and diversity, science and mathematics teaching methods, and adolescent development. Also within this program, student teaching opportunities can begin as early as freshman year. I love the option of being able to start observing the classroom management, developing lesson plans, and tutoring early on. If you want to take a look in the schedule of classes via testudo.umd.edu after this presentation, feel free to pull up the description for TLPL 101. There are even some past syllabi that you can explore. Not a middle school math and science major, but still interested in TLPL 101? No problem. Anyone across campus is able to enroll in this course. Secondary education. This pathway to earn teaching certification is structured as a double major at University of Maryland. When you enter University of Maryland as a freshman student, you will either come in as a secondary education major and add your double major content area later, or you'll come in as a major of your content area, for example, as a math major, and then add secondary education later. In other words, once at University of Maryland, students will need to make sure they have met with their academic advisor to discuss their secondary education major, along with completing the steps to declare a double major in the content area they are interested in teaching. The majority of our secondary education programs lead to a certification to teach grades seven through 12, while our studio art and language programs would lead to a certification to teach pre-K through 12th grade. On the next slide, I'll show you our secondary education content areas. As you can see, we have our pre-K through 12 certification areas listed. You can choose between studio art and world language. If you would like to become certified to teach in a world language, you can choose between Chinese, French, German, Italian, Russian, or Spanish. If you are interested in teaching English, math, science, or social studies, you would be eligible to teach in grades 7 through 12. If interested in the science content area, you would choose an emphasis between agriculture, biology, chemistry, geology, physics, and computer science. If you're interested in studying social studies, you would choose an emphasis between geography, government and politics, or history.
Listed here are some scholarships you are welcome to explore. We highly encourage you to connect with a University of Maryland financial aid advisor to discuss options available to you. Why would you choose the University of Maryland? The University of Maryland has a total acreage of 1,340 acres with 41,000 graduate and undergraduate students. We are definitely a large campus with many opportunities for student involvement. We are ranked number 22 in public research institutions number 15 in most innovative schools, number eight as a best value college, and number nine in entrepreneurship for undergraduates. We have discussed the programs offered through the College of Education, but we would be remiss if we did not highlight some additional perks of our university. We are in close proximity to Washington, D.C., where many education policy think tanks and policymakers are having the discussions about teacher education topics that students learn in the classroom. And that type of influence in our backyard is irreplaceable. One of the benefits of the University of Maryland's College of Education is the way in which we can make a large, vibrant flagship university with all of its opportunities and possibilities into a small college classroom experience. Our College of Education has about 1,600 students, 600 of which are undergraduates. The 600 undergraduate students are in different programs such as secondary education science, special education, or early childhood, early childhood special education, for example. Students will be in small cohorts with class sizes that are typically around 25 to 30. Our faculty are stellar. They are approachable, national experts in their field of research and seasoned practitioners. Faculty are invested in our students' success and it can really be rewarding to take advantage of the opportunity of getting to know faculty within the college. Our education programs are known for their rigor. Our graduates are sought after within the state. Part of that stems from the variety of internship experiences. Field work in most programs start around sophomore year. Early field work will observe observation and will be tutoring based. There are also multiple levels of support for students, especially as they move into their field placements and internships. They will have the support from their faculty, their mentor teachers, their placement schools, and from us as their College of Education academic advisors. When students start at the University of Maryland in the College of Education, they attend our individualized college orientation program. At this program, students will learn more about the college, our requirements, they'll meet their advising staff, and they will register for their first semester classes. The safety net for freshmen references our review of coursework once the fall semester ends and again at the close of the spring semester of the student's freshman year. All of our programs are designed to be completed in four years. We have many requirements from the college, university, state, and accrediting agencies. Thus, we have mandatory advising and we use that to make sure that our students are completing all of their course requirements in a timely and appropriate fashion. We require students to meet with us every single semester before their mandatory advising block will be lifted. Students can run from us, but they cannot hide. Otherwise, they will not be able to register for the upcoming semester. Students are reviewed at key benchmarks after completion of their first semester, their first year, 45 credits. And also for those on teacher certification pathways, they receive a credit review upon application to the professional program and prior to starting their senior year year-long internship. Also, they have a credit review prior to graduation. There are an abundance of student involvement opportunities at the University of Maryland College of Education. We'll go ahead and take a look at a few that I'd like to highlight. The first is our Teacher Education Association of Maryland Students, or TEAMS. This focuses on professional development and starts to build those skills that students will take with them into the workplace as future educators. I also wanna highlight our Undergraduate Student Assembly. 
This student group meets regularly to collaborate with the Dean of the College of Education. They have a unique opportunity to share their voice and perspective as undergraduate students with key decision makers in the college. I also wanna highlight our Student Ambassadors Program. You'll soon have the opportunity to hear from some of our student ambassadors and towards the end of this presentation. And as you'll notice, I've only mentioned a few items on the list, um, and this is only a small smattering of the opportunities at the University of Maryland. If you have questions about student involvement, please feel free to send those along to edadvising at umd.edu um, and how to get involved during your time at the University of Maryland in the College of Education. If you have specific questions for our student ambassadors that you'll hear from shortly, you can also be sure to send those along as well. The College of Education has placements for student teaching internships that are built into the program. Students will not have to go and find their own placement for their student teaching experiences and internships. We work with professional development schools that have agreements with the college to host our student teaching interns. The counties we currently work with are Prince George's County, Anne Arundel County, and Montgomery County. And all of the professional development schools or PDS schools will be hosted in public schools. Um, the University Career Center also sponsors events for our graduates. There is a um, yearly consortium that brings in many local, national um, school districts who are looking to hire our teachers. For example, we've even had um, employers from Hawaii and Colorado come that are looking to hire University of Maryland graduates. Also, again, we can support you um, in terms of guiding students that might be interested in out-of-state certification resources. All right, next we'll go ahead and introduce you virtually to some of our student ambassadors. Hi, my name is Madeline and I am a sophomore elementary education major from Arnold, Maryland, just outside of Annapolis. Congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Maryland. I am recording this quick little video to answer a few important questions related to life as a College of Education student at Maryland. Hopefully, this video will help you make the exciting first steps to becoming a TERP. I chose Maryland because it has always been my dream school due to the fact that it offers a high caliber education for such an affordable price as I am an in-state resident. Specifically, I chose the College of Education because it provides students with an intimate community of peers and teachers that is often lacking at a large university. At the College of Education, students are provided with help and attention of a small college while still benefiting from the resources of a large institution. Our program helps students grow and succeed throughout college as most find jobs immediately following graduation. I love the College of Education because it really does feel like a community where I'm known and supported. With the small class sizes and overall student population at the college, I feel I have a close connections with my peers, teachers, and advisors, which really does improve my overall academic experience. Newly admitted students should confirm their acceptance to UMD because it is a school that is highly regarded in academics, athletics, and diverse opportunities for students. Many of its programs are nationally ranked, making a degree from this institution very meaningful. Additionally, it's close to two major U.S. cities and the nation's capital, providing various opportunities to explore, learn, and find employment opportunities in the future. Additionally, Maryland provides students with many opportunities to be involved as we have over 600 clubs on campus. I know in high school I was very involved and then I came to Maryland and suddenly I was involved in nothing. So it was super meaningful and important to me that Maryland offered students so many opportunities to become involved in on-campus organizations, as well as an opportunity to be involved in Greek life. I am a member of Greek life at Maryland and it comprises about 17% of the student population. Greek life and other on-campus organizations um, really demand time management skills, which is definitely an important thing to learn during the college experience as it pertains to the rest of life. Whether you're balancing your school, your personal life, and then any extracurricular you're involved in, it's important to devote time to each of them in a way that is meaningful and helps you be successful. Thank you for listening to my video, and I really hope that it helps you with your decision to become a TERP. 
Hi everyone, my name is Andrea. I am a secondary education and Spanish double major. I'm originally from Fort Hood, Texas, and I'm just making this short video to answer some questions about being a College of Ed student here at the University of Maryland, and hopefully it'll help you take your first steps towards becoming a Terp. So a little bit of why I chose the College of Education here at the University of Maryland. From the first time I visited, um, I felt welcomed. I could feel the small community feel. I could tell that the faculty and staff were gonna be invested in my success and would do anything to see me succeed and would help me in any way that they could. That was a big part of why I chose Maryland. Um, they also help make the transition from high school to college um, as seamlessly as possible. We actually have to take a, um, a UNIV 100 course where we get to meet other education majors and we get to learn a little bit about college life and all the activities and everything the university has to offer. So that transition from high school and college was made a lot easier. So I absolutely love the College of Education. One of my favorite parts is the small class sizes. You really get to know and work closely with your professors and your peers. So some other questions you may have about uh, the college life may have to do with food and living situation. So I was actually a commuter. I still am a commuter and I have enjoyed it. I feel that you still get the college experience. Um, there are so many activities that you can still join. There are There's a club, especially for transfer and off-campus students. This club um, helps facilitate your transition since you're not living on campus, but it's, it's great to get involved in clubs and activities which um, help you get to know people and build that community um, that you're not getting through residence halls. Uh, another question might be dining halls. So there are actually three dining halls on campus, two on North Campus and one on South Campus. So the North Campus area is mostly where freshmen live. Um, the dining halls are sort of a uh, buffet style. So there is food for everyone, for everyone's taste. If you have dietary restrictions, you can contact them and they can make those arrangements. So you can go to the dining halls anytime you'd like. Um, you have to get a dining plan. There are different options for dining plans. As a commuter, I could buy a dining plan. So there's uh, plans that fit everyone's needs. And yeah, they're open uh, to late at night. You can go with your friends, grab dessert, grab cookies. Yeah, they have healthy and delicious options for everyone. Well, I hope that answers some of your questions. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you all and seeing you all on campus um, when you decide to become a Terp. Go Terps! Hey future Terps, my name is Karen and I'm a junior middle school math and science education major at the University of Maryland. I am from Annapolis, Maryland, and I am very excited to talk to you guys about different opportunities within the College of Education at the University of Maryland. Um, first, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I chose Maryland and why I chose education at the University of Maryland. Um, Maryland itself is a beautiful campus. Um, I'm so sorry that you guys don't get to come see it, but definitely check out the virtual tours online as well as other resources um, and my favorite part is really just getting to look down the mall on a beautiful fall or spring day and seeing all of the other students out there and everyone talking with each other and just having a really good time um, and just seeing the classic look of a college campus with the brick buildings and everything um, that's what I remember from my tour being like yeah this is where I want to come um, but for education specifically at the University of Maryland one reason that I chose it is actually because of the middle school math and science program um, so we have this program and not a lot of other schools do um, and I always knew that I wanted to teach math I always knew I wanted to be a teacher but I wasn't really sure what age range was right for me and what I like about the middle school program is that it certifies you for grades four through nine so I I have a little bit more wiggle room. I can still teach in an elementary school if I wanted to, still teach in a high school if I wanted to, but I really have that middle ground of being able to specify in one specific subject, two subjects, math and science. And I really get to focus in on that, but also I get to um, expand a little bit on who exactly I'm gonna be reaching out to at the end of this whole journey. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about some frequently asked questions here at the College of Education. Our first question is, 
what is study abroad like um, for an education major? Can you do study abroad as an education major? And I'm here to tell you that you can, and I've actually done it twice. Um, one, I did my sophomore year spring semester. I did the Disney College program down in Florida, which was absolutely amazing, and I'm more than happy to talk to anyone about it. But pretty much um, for an education major, you really got to tell your advisor right away. That way they can work it into your academic plans and make sure that you get all your credits as well as being able to go abroad. Um, so telling your advisor sooner rather than later, and most of the time it is going to be that sophomore spring semester. However, if you didn't want to do a full semester long program, you can also do some of our summer or winter programs. I went on a winter program to Israel and it was absolutely incredible. It was 10 days and I thought that that was absolutely perfect because I didn't really want to leave home for a full semester, didn't really want to go that far, um, and I thought that 10 days was an absolutely perfect experience. Um, and another question that we get a lot here at the College of Education is what is it like living in the residence halls? Um, so I actually um, served as a community assistant in a residence hall my freshman year, which meant that I worked at the 24-hour desk. Um, there is a 24-hour desk, which is really nice because there's always security, there's always someone looking out for you, looking out um, for the building at all hours of the day. Um, and they also help you when it comes to getting your mail and different things like that. Um, and they're a really incredible resource um, for any questions that you might have about anything on campus. Um, and when it comes to finding that roommate, um, using those Facebook groups is definitely something that I recommend. Um, and also you'll meet people at orientation, which is always really fun. Um, and that's pretty much it. Feel free to submit any other questions that you might have for us. And I hope you have a great day and see you at Maryland. Thank you for spending time with us today. If you have questions, please send us an email at ed-advising, A-D-V-I-S-I-N-G, at umd.edu. We look forward to seeing you in fall of 2020. Go Terps!